Well, we know from research, uh, both our own and the field, is that when schools take social and emotional learning seriously, when they implement it with fidelity, with quality, with long-term sustainability, great things happen. I was looking for a solution for social emotional learning. We have amazing students here in our school district who are very high performing. But what we're seeing is increased need to address uh, emotional intelligence. What Ruler provided the school was an actual approach that all teachers could use. In addition to being an approach, Ruler is a set of skills. And we call them the Ruler skills representing R, recognizing emotions, U, understanding our feelings, the causes and the consequences, L, knowing precise words to label our feelings, E, knowing how and when to express our feelings, and finally the last R, which has to do with regulating emotions. And Mrs. Goss was one of those teachers that took to the ruler approach immediately. When you walk into her classroom, she's really situating her lessons so that it goes with moods and feelings and words and strategies of how students can shift and regulate their emotions. And I felt that that was so powerful as a first grade teacher. I start with an intention for my students. My students think about how they want to feel today. They are also empowered to, to know that they, they can feel the way they feel. So if they are feeling sad, that is okay. I like to do breathinghotchocolate.com. You're pretending you hold a cup of hot chocolate and breathe in to smell the cocoa so you can calm down and so you can feel better after your big emotions. The Mood Meter is the signature tool of Ruler and it's deceptively simple because it's just a box with four colors. But within each of those colors are hundreds if not thousands of emotion words. The yellow quadrant represents emotions that are high in energy and also very pleasant. Happy, excited, elated, ecstatic, optimistic. The green represents emotions that are pleasant but they're kind of lower in energy. Calm, content, tranquil, peaceful, relaxed. The blue and the red are emotions that are unpleasant. And importantly, they're not bad, they're not negative, they're just unpleasant. The blue represents emotions that are like down and disappointment and despair. Uh, and the red represents the anger and the anxiety family. So in the past, when students would be sent to the principal's office or I walk around, I, I would ask them, how are you doing? And they'll say, I'm fine, I'm good. But now they're very precise in their vocabulary. They'll say, I'm at ease, I feel calm, I'm annoyed, I'm frustrated, or I feel elated. Also, students will say, I'm feeling a little blue, but I'm going to read so that I shift to the green. Like, so they're using terms from the ruler program that I know that it's making an impact. It's helpful to use the mood meter, so if you're like feeling angry, maybe you can use the mood meter to feel, um, try to feel happy or calm. It literally is a way of infusing the principles of social and emotional learning into the immune system of the school. The empathy in my room has increased tremendously with Ruler because they're more in tune with noting, noticing their own feelings, they can then notice their friends' feelings or their peers' feelings. I'd love to see how much we grow into it and how our students develop through this program as they matriculate up the grades. In El Segundo, um, this is going to become one of our hallmark programs. When children and adults have the permission to feel, when they develop the skills of emotional intelligence throughout their lives, great things happen. So from my perspective, it's our moral obligation to ensure that every child gets the emotion education they deserve.